Yes, more than a decade ago, Mark Taylor was banned from Houston County. Now he's in the headlines again. Taylor shared a slur filled video of himself driving through Atlanta with a friend. Then those videos wound up on Facebook. We want to warn that the video you're about to see is disturbing. I ain't seen a white person in sight. Homeless ones on the street. Every restaurant looking in here is black. Every car beside them is black. They can have Atlanta. And that's just the milder racist comments that Mark Taylor said on camera. Videos show Taylor making racist slurs toward a black woman driving in downtown Atlanta and saying someone named Roe would hang the woman from a tree. They show him using the N-word several times. He shouldn't be around kids. He shouldn't be have the privilege of being a coach to any athlete. And our parents need to know what they're walking into. Now, some parents like Karen Buckman, along with students and coaches, are speaking out against the trainer. Taylor offers personal training for kids eight and up in football, basketball, track and other sports. Buckman says Taylor trained her son for three years through his private company, Speed Edge Sports. You do not have to be a parent of a black child to be or any person of color to be horrified and think that this is horrendous. On his company's Facebook page, Taylor markets himself as a former Georgia Bulldog football player, GHSA track coach of the year six times, and claims personal connections to SEC coaches like Kirby Smart and Nick Saban. Taylor is a former Northside Middle School teacher and coach, and in 2007, he pleaded guilty to a felony charge of influencing a witness. He was accused that same year of stalking and harassing his ex fiance who was also a teacher. Houston County Schools fired Taylor from his teaching and coaching jobs in 2007, and he was banished from the county. When he had a hard time and he went to prison and he came back to our community to coach, we supported him. And for him to turn around and bite the hand that feeds him is just another brick on this complicated, disgusting situation. Now we reached out to Taylor by phone and by email. He has not responded. Frank, Lori. Hi, thanks, Ashlyn. Taylor rented a space at Central Fellowship Christian Academy to train students. The academy released a statement saying they give no room for racism and that they have ended the relationship with Taylor and his training company. They say he was never a school employee.